Fortnite skins have been a huge part of the game from day one. Currently, there are over 1,200 skins in the game. Some are popular, some are not. So in today's video, I'm here to give you 20 underrated skins in Fortnite. And for this list, I'm only going to use skins that you can buy in the item shop. So no battle pass or exclusive skins. So let's get right to it. Let's start this list with one of my favorites, the Aspen skin. When she was first introduced to the game, I thought for sure she would be very popular by the competitive community. But as we know, that's not really the case. She reminds me of survival specialists because they are both wearing the same cap and they both have a skull on their shirts. She also rotates in the shop every 30 days and yet I don't ever see her in any of my games. Next, we have to talk about human build. The customization alone is worth every V-Buck. There are over 4,000 possible combinations that you can choose from, and that's insane. I love his vibe, and I love how slim the character model is, which is surprising given the fact that most meme skins are usually very bulky in Fortnite. So give Human Bill a chance. Our next skin is a concept skin made by Nolo Benz over on Twitter. That's right, I'm talking about Lyra. I understand she was sold as a challenge pack for $12, hence why she might not be as popular as if she was sold in the shop for V-Bucks. But I have to include her in this list simply because she is an incredible looking skin her hair is made out of snakes and she also has two edit styles to choose from very underrated in my opinion next on the list we have all of the zombie soccer slash football skins soccer skins have been very popular since day one fortnite has also brought real clubs into the game and those skins are also very popular however for some reason the zombie soccer skins kind of get forgotten even though they are incredibly well designed it might be because we can't change their jerseys only the numbers regardless i still think they are worth getting our next one is a little tricky summer fable is great but you can't purchase her alone in order to get her you have to buy the summer legends pack for 20 dollars. great bundle by the way she has a couple of edit styles to choose from she's also wearing casual clothes which is pretty cool because it gives us a chance to use her all year long not just for the summer but is she worth buying the entire pack for no but i still think she is very underrated and awesome to have in your locker next we have a summer skin that actually feels like a summer skin heist is pretty cool and he somehow gives me gta vice city vibes he's a thief that's wearing a suit with shorts he also has two edit styles to choose from and both styles actually feel like two different skins even the masks have different colors on them overall he is well designed and worth the price next we have the payback skin she looks like an anime skin without being cell shaded she's got a lot going on though some chains hanging by her hips spikes on her shoulders and knees braids on her hair a face mask with the zipper on it she also has a very unique color scheme that we're not used to having in the game at all this all makes her very underrated in my opinion moving on we have diamond hands aka the stonks guy he was introduced for april fool's day back in 2021 fortnite actually had a morning item shop for him and i couldn't believe it when it certainly showed up on my screen a wacky looking outfit that has so much meme potential which makes him a great candidate for this list our next skin is very aggressive looking we now have night witch by the time i'm recording this video it's been over 400 days since night witch was last seen in the item shop so it definitely has been a while in my opinion she's one of those skins that feel like a casual skin but you could also use her in arena mode i absolutely love her hair and the mask that she's wearing and as a bonus she's also very fun to make combos for so keep that in mind next we have a skin that reminds me of the tv show umbrella academy and of course i'm talking about brainstorm by far one of the most unique looking skins we have in the game it's a tank with the brain inside of it on top of a human body that is also wearing a sharp looking suit what's not to love about all of this if this was a ranking video you would probably see this one very high on the list the next skin we have is xena everything about her is outstanding she's got cool looking green dreads unique looking clothes two types of grenades strapped to her body a cool looking pineapple on her shirt and on top of it all she also comes with a second edit style that adds a face mask and a jacket it might not be as good as her default style but it's still worth mentioning we now have the atsuki skin He's only been in the game for a couple of months and I already feel like he's underrated. He also reminds me of a character from the Dragon Ball Z slash Dragon Ball Super Universe and that alone is pretty cool to me. And unlike Xena, both of his edit styles are incredible and I simply can't decide which one I like better. And that's a good problem to have, isn't it? Next on this list is the Gator Train Master Swamp Stomper. And believe it or not, he's only been in the shop three times and by the time I'm recording this video, it's been over 500 days that he was last out in the shop. So I blame Epic for making him somewhat for Forgotten. They never gave my guy a chance. He also has a second edit style that is equally as good as the default one, so please, Epic, bring him back. 
Moving on to one of my favorites, the Safari skin. She is another casual looking outfit that gives me Coachella vibes. She's got cool tattoos on her arm and leg. She's also wearing a cool looking hat that you can remove if you want to, but why would anybody do that? It's perfect as it is. And the hat also gives her a lot of personality in my opinion, so use it. Next we have the RK Kid himself, Cade. There's so much to love about this skin. Let's start with the fact that he's a gamer, so that's pretty cool. And just like Star-Lord, he is listening to his Walkman. He also has the Unreal logo on his jacket. His left upper arm looks like either a glove controller or a robotic arm. He has three edit styles to choose from. And as a minor detail, there is also a tiny peely hanging from the pocket on his pants. What else is there to say besides underrated, right? Next on our list, brought to you by Slurp Juice, we have Slurpentine. She looks like she would be a great villain in Fortnite. Let's start with the broken heart on her suit. Maybe someone did this to her and she's out looking for revenge now. It's a stretch, but it's definitely something. I also like the aggressive looking mask that she's wearing as well as the tubes connected to her arms. That's very intimidating. Our next skin is from one of the servers sent by Epic Games. We now have the Pepperthorn skin. I like this outfit so much that I have it as one of my presets. She comes with multiple edit styles that allows you to remove her top hat and sunglasses, but I highly suggest against it. Simply because they give her so much personality in my opinion. Opinion, so it's worth having them on let's also not forget about the super cool tattoos that she has on her arms they are definitely a highlight about this skin moving on to another skin that hasn't been in the shop for over 400 days we now have barracuda i absolutely love the color mix between black and this very uncommon shade of green on her diving clothes and that's not even the best thing about this skin what makes her special in my opinion is the badass looking mask on her second edit style and you know how i said i wouldn't remove pepperthorn's hat or glasses well, I wouldn't remove her mask here either. It takes this skin to a whole nother level, so keep it on. Next, we have all of the Chapulín Colorado skins. I understand that 99.9% .9 of the Fortnite community has never watched or know anything about this collab. However, they are incredibly well designed and Epic chose awesome character models for all of the skins. I also think it's hilarious to eliminate other players while you're using these skins. Another thing worth mentioning is how underrated their pickaxe is. I know this list is about skins, but I wanted to at least acknowledge its greatness. It has one of the best impact sounds in the game, and this is what it sounds like. And last but not least, we have the Melody Maverick skin. And no, I'm not including the rest of her set like I did for El Chapulín Colorado. I'm specifically talking about just this one skin. I'm not sure why I don't see her enough in my games. She has two edit styles. She is reactive to emotes, which you can turn that off if you would like to. She has an awesome and unique looking hairstyle and it's blue, so that's pretty cool. She definitely has all of the ingredients to be a popular skin in Fortnite, but for now, I'll just add her to my list of underrated skins. And that's all I got for you in today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what other skins you think should be on this list. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, use code EARTOE in the item shop, and I'll see you on the next one.